What is up guys, welcome to this episode number 50, half a century of episodes and there is not too many left, I think about 7 more episodes I think until season 4 has officially finished and yeah we just got the last half of this season to go and uh, let's see if we can actually win the league and obviously we've still got the Champions League as you saw in the last episode just gone, obviously we beat PSG so We've got a good chance of actually progressing through and trying to win the Champions League this time round. I think, you know, if we beat teams like PSG, then we should actually be pretty good in winning the Champions League. So, if we do that, then, you know, all will be well and all will be pretty darn good for us going forwards. And then we'll obviously have to try and think of what we want to do next. Um, if we do. So here we have it as we're playing a fairly, I say a fairly rotated squad. I think we are actually playing rotated with a few main staple uh, defenders. I think we've got uh, Colwell and Azure at the back line as well as Keller. But unfortunately, Keller can't actually save that shot, which I thought he would have done. You know, Keller's been a really good signing for us in the Premier League season come. Well, it's just been a really good seat. Yeah, a really good signing for us, and yeah, he's done a few wrong jobs. But you know, Danny Wood would have probably done the exact same. But I think it's just a general composure that has been a bit low on a lot of our players. Apart from Roger, has been quite high composure, so that's all good. So we do go into the halfway points, one nil down. Obviously, Ivan Tony gets played through, looking to. Oof, they're going to make it 1-1 but cannot find the back of the net unfortunately we'll have to see how that goes from the corner that we win and uh, yeah unfortunately nothing comes of that corner at all now I'll into this passage of play 62 minutes in Wes Burns gets brought into the fray plays in Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony sees the run of Casper Dolberg Dolberg brings it down and yeah, I thought he was going to head that first time, but no, he just manages to absolutely smash it wide. And, you know, we're bringing on Bowden as well. So we brought on our staple strikers just because, you know, we didn't really want to start them because we've got the next fixture of Manchester City. I believe it's in the FA Cup or Carabao Cup final. I can't remember which one it exactly is. But Casper Dolberg not proving a point that is actually scoring goals. I think he's been in goal, and goal twice now and. Just, not managed to put it past or anything. Casper Dolberg sees the run of Bowden. Obviously, Bowden's going to be making those runs every day of the week. And Bowden, you know, nicely controlled and smashes it into the back of the net to make it 1 1, 89 minutes in. And that's pretty much how it's going to end. It's going to end 1 1, bringing back a point home with us. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we can get something out of the rest of this episode. But we do have a Manchester City in the Carabao Cup final. And Manchester City have been a formidable force in the league. And every time we've actually played them, they've been, you know, we've struggled to actually get anything against them. I mean, there has been a few times where we've been able to, you know, get a point here or there or win the game. But, uh, you know, we'll just have to try and see what we can do in this Carabao Cup final. Though obviously not too much has happened, obviously the first highlight going into this match, obviously being in the, uh, well, obviously the main highlight is going into the 40th minute and what can we do just before the edge of half time, obviously Ramsey gets played in, Bowden plays in a nice little sweaty ball, obviously making it 1-0 in front and you know we're just trying to hold the lead against Manchester City, I think going into the half time remit 1-0 up definitely has always been a benefactor but you know, that has mean that Manchester City going into the halftime team talk has, you know, boosted their efforts going forwards and perhaps just like, you know, just go at them ever and ever and ever again. Obviously it will come and obviously Soler is just you know, he just gets played in, you know, he fires Manchester City 1-1 one, one in front. And you know, Holland at the centre of that as well as Mohamed Salah. I mean really didn't expect Salah to be joining Manchester City at that age, but uh, I thought he probably would have retired at Liverpool, though Haaland does get played in again, and you know what he's going to do. Haaland being Haaland, 
Just gonna keep chip the keeper and I would have expected Keller to do a little bit better from that and, but you know he just goes to ground too early and Harlan just chips the ball over the keeper and makes it 2-1 to Manchester City. It's obviously no surprise of what's gonna happen for this output but uh, you know we'll just have to try and fight back in these last two or last 20 minutes should we say. Obviously Bowden gets played and he's gonna stop and turn obviously he's gonna try and find the far post but he only finds the advertising board at the back of the stadium but uh, here we go once again 87 minute we're just trying to play it around just trying to find an easy opening and just trying to find a nice easy shot but Dujabri Hall into Ramsey Ramsey turns has a shot but Edison makes a great save and that's how it's going to end unfortunately our Carabao Cup run has come to an end and uh, yeah not really got much to celebrate going on that second best again I think we've only won the Carroll Cup once in our career mode four times through. I think that was when we were back in the, it might have been our first outing in the Premier League where we won, I'm not too sure. Obviously it wasn't the championship, that is for sure. Though, saying that, we might have actually not never won the Carabao Cup, which is a shocker. I thought we would have won it at some point, but obviously we definitely won the FA Cup. And speaking of the FA Cup, we go 1-0 up very early on against Everton, nine minutes in to be precise. From a corner, Holgate gets played. Is it Holgate? No, Holgate's not even on the pitch. What am I talking about? It's probably Argon Tony gets the header on and uh, yeah, managed to put us in front nice and early on. What can Everton do? Can they react? Obviously we're 16 minutes in, just pulled 20 minute mark. Correct, plays it into Correa. Correa was one of their star players, apparently. He's obviously got a star over his head. Thomas gets played in and Danny Ward cannot put his outstretched arms close to the ball and it just goes into the back of the net and it'll be Everton 1, Ipswich Town 1 and hopefully that lead won't last for too long as Correct plays in Correct again just lofts over the top and then Correct plays it or Correct gets it back and Thomas into Correct, Correct goes ahead and manages to put Everton ahead it's not really what we would have wanted coming into this, obviously, just before the half an hour mark, 2-1 down. Uh, like I say, you know, going into the halfway point, I'm just going to have to have that team talk. But, uh, yeah, no. Instead, we're going to be off on the kickoff. Tony, Ivan Tony plays in a lovely through ball into Bowden, and Bowden reacts so quickly, and, well, Ipswich Town reacts so quickly after they've initially conceded, and it is literally after all that, always always after you can see then the team just I don't know they just managed to sleep on and you know you have an easy counter attack Bowden got played through nicely one ball and the whole defense got taken out and what can Bowden do here just before the halfway point <laughs> wow that is not a shot that I expected Bowden to have missed but at the end of the day you know a 2-2 two -two, still got plenty of time to try and get back into this. Obviously Ramsey sees the space, sees Bowden's run. Bowden tries to get it to find the back of the net and he does so just putting the ball in the back of the net, just making sure that it actually did. And he's going to shush out the haters that he hasn't really performed this match. Well, I say he hasn't performed, he's obviously scored twice now. So 3-2. It's more of Shushing the fans saying, you know, you've not been performing, you've obviously let Everton get ahead of you, and uh, yeah, now we're fighting back, so hopefully we can hold on to this lead, and Bowden plays through Tony, Tony has the shot, and oh, should have made it four, should have, would have, could have, but didn't, obviously now we're into the 90th minute here, just trying to hold up the play, you know, Ivan Tony just going to have a shot from the edge of the box and manages to find the back of the net. I mean, whenever those goals go in, it's always just so, so spectacular. Love to see it every single time. I love it when it happens, because normally I sort of play with music, and then you can just, wow, well, whenever you have a shot from there, the sound of the net rumbling and just such a nice sound such a nice sound and here is the next match against Liverpool obviously a Premier League game hoping to get three points today obviously trying to keep up with the league leaders unless we are the league leaders which obviously trying to stay ahead and hopefully we can do so but Casper Dolber gets played in here to make it 1-0 very very early on that's another early goal from last game to now let's see nine minutes and now four minutes and Liverpool didn't really have an answer to that attack whatsoever 
and you know I think that's going to really set the standard for this game and you know when you score so early on it really sets the standard saying you know we're going to want to win this and you know Liverpool really haven't started off right on the right foot and Keller facing his former team once again and uh, obviously just trying to see what he's going to be able to do obviously he's just found poor poor clearance there as I think it was Rafinha finds the interception and plays it into Nunes, Nunes plays it back into Rafinha, Rafinha has a really poor shot, goes over the back and yeah, it's not really going to happen too much, and obviously the first half highlights have really just been and gone, uh, there wasn't really much to actually show you within that first half, and obviously we're now going into the second half with Dewsbury Hall making a fantastic run from the edge of his own box, is he going to whip it in, is he going to play it in, he's just going to run it in himself, he's going to find Ramsey on the edge of the box, and Ramsey finds Bowden, Bowden turns and shoots, and makes it 2-0 to Ipswich Town away, and that's a really good result that we're going to have to squeeze out here, I think it's going to be 2-0, I think it might actually be just 2-0, so 60 minutes in, not really much happens there after that, and it will be 3 points coming back to us, and there we have it, 1 point away from Spurs, we are crawling away from Manchester City, we're 4 points ahead, and we're 5 points out ahead of Liverpool with a game in hand so they, yeah the top two is really closing down on everyone but here we have a PSG in the second leg then we've got Blackburn Rovers in the FA Cup followed by Fulham and Burnley in the Premier League and let's hope we can get some points in those I hope you've enjoyed like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye bye